ingredients to get to know God. Ingredients to get to know God. Turn up for God. Turn up for God. Turn up for God. Hello. Welcome to We the Barley. This is a place where you get the ingredients to get to know God. I am Maxine. Welcome to day 11, y'all. Come on now. Day 11. I'm super excited about day 11, y'all. Praise God. Hallelujah. Let's go ahead and move in the word. I just want to tell you, praise God, for those of you who are fasting, you are submitting, you are yielding, and we are studying chapter 19 of Luke. Remember, this chapter is all about submission, y'all. Even the parable that we're in right now is all about yielding to the Lord, praise God. Hallelujah. Even when we're given something, praise God. Hallelujah. Just like these servants were given, these slaves were given um, the minas, praise God. Hallelujah. They were supposed to be good stewards over what was given to bring increase to it in the mighty name of Jesus because the nobleman gave it to him in Jesus' mighty name, gave it to his servants, the master did. And so when we look at that, we have to also look at what the Lord has given us. We have the Holy Spirit, praise God. So what is it? Hallelujah. What is it that we're doing with what God has given us. Hallelujah. I'm telling you, the spirit of, 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 of God is not increasing. It just is. Hallelujah. It just is what it is. But we can increase in spirit. We can grow, praise God. Hallelujah. Our capacity can grow in the mighty name of Jesus. And when we are growing in the spirit of God, understand, hallelujah, that just means that he's given us more. That just means with what we had, we did something with it, praise God. Hallelujah. You know those gifts that the Holy Spirit extends to you, praise God? You did something with it. Hallelujah. Understand what I'm saying. We are not to sit idle. Hallelujah. When the Lord put a word in your belly, you're not to sit idle. You're not to sit around, praise God. God, and not pour out that word onto somebody, not pour out, pour out that word onto the people that the Lord is drawing to you. Hallelujah. It's not your word. Remember, he is the word. That word is his. Hallelujah. So how dare you keep it in your belly? How dare you not open your mouth, hallelujah, and pour it out onto the people, praise God. Hallelujah. Who are you? Hallelujah. I mean, understand the word, hallelujah, to open your eyes as to who created you. Who is the one who is reigning on the throne, praise God. Hallelujah. We need to get our stuff in order and understand that we are not of our own, praise God, but we belong to God. We are his creation, praise God. He knows the design of us, praise God. Many of us, hallelujah, we don't even know the intricacies of ourselves, hallelujah. hallelujah. We don't know all of those intricacies, praise God. So let's leave it up to Jesus Christ, who is our Lord and Savior, to guide us along the way because the perfect plan is in his hands. Hallelujah. Let me say that again. The perfect plan is in his hands. Hallelujah. So let's go ahead and go to scripture, um, chapter 19. We're going to start at verse 23. And it reads, and we're just picking up where we left off. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Verse 23. Then why do you, why did you not put my money in the bank? And having come, I would have collected, collected it with interest. Praise God. Hallelujah. We kind of talked about that on yesterday. Let's look at 24. Then he said to the bystanders, take the mina away from him and give it to the one who has the 10 minas. And they said to him, master, he has 10 minas already. And 26, I tell you that to everyone who has more shall be given, but from the one who does not have, even what he does not have shall be taken away. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're going to stop right there because the word today is Everyone who has more shall be given. Praise God. Hallelujah. Put a praise on that right there. Everyone who has more shall be given. Let me go ahead and dive into that for you just a little bit. Praise God. What does that mean? Hallelujah. Those who did something with what God had given them. Those who are good stewards over what God had given them. Praise God. Those who brought increase into the kingdom of God. Do you understand? More will be given unto them. Why? Because they showed themselves as good stewards. They showed themselves, hallelujah, as approved that they can handle what God is giving, praise God. And what they did with that, praise God, guess what? God wants more of it, hallelujah. He said, hey, I'm going to give it to the one who has more. Why? Because they're doing something with it. 
Hallelujah. I've given it to them to be good stewards over. Praise God. They're bringing back increase. Hallelujah. Why wouldn't he put it in the hands of the one that's going to bring back more? Why wouldn't he put it in the hands, praise God, of that one that's going to be obedient, that, that one that knows what to do, praise God. Hallelujah. They don't have to be instructed like a, a, a baby, praise God. Hallelujah. But they know what to do with what they have in their hand and they're going to be good stewards with it in the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord is letting us know today, praise God, that we need to be good good stewards over what he give us and we need to go out and begin to move in his assignment listen to what i'm saying those men those servants those slaves they had an assignment praise god hallelujah i know it wasn't said specifically but the money was given to them praise god hallelujah there was an assignment on that money praise god there was assignment on that meanest praise god hallelujah and the assignment was to bring back increase because when the master came back guess what he was satisfied he was happy with the one who brought back more why hallelujah because there was an assignment on it in the mighty name of jesus many of you are not recognizing your assignment Many of you are receiving from the Lord. You're not recognizing that you're supposed to be a good steward over what God is giving you. You're not recognizing that you're supposed to bring increase. Hallelujah. And therefore, those who do not have, meaning you did not do anything with what God gave you, it will be taken away. Hallelujah. Why? Because it has to be placed in the hands of that one that's doing something with it. Praise God. It has to be placed in the hands of that one that's bringing increase. Hallelujah. That was that obedient. Hallelujah. No matter how it looks, praise God. But God is going to put it in the hands of that one that says, hey, hallelujah. That one's going to do it. Praise God. That one's going to bring it forth. Hallelujah. That word that I give them in their belly. Praise God. Whether people believe them or not. Hallelujah. Whether some people are supporting them or not. Hallelujah. They're going to get it done in the mighty name of Jesus and more will be placed in their hands. It's just the truth, y'all. Hallelujah. I'm telling you right now that the Lord is calling you because he's drawing people to you. Praise God. There's something that he wants to do. And believe me when I tell you, even with financial wealth, wealth transfer, you've been hearing about it. Even with that, God has instructions on the wealth that he's giving you. Praise God. Understand that you have to be good stewards, but you also have to be obedient to do what he's asking you to do with it. Hallelujah. It's not just for fun. Praise God. So he's definitely not going to transfer wealth over to the one with the one meanest pride. Praise God. Hallelujah. Because the one with the one, hallelujah, didn't do anything with it. Didn't bring increase. Praise God. So what makes you think that the wealth transfer is going to that one? Hallelujah. I'm telling you right now, the one with more will be given more. Let me say that again. The one with more will be given more. Hallelujah. That's your word for today in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray that you go in the movement of the Lord with his plan, with his will. Hallelujah. Identify your purpose, knowing exactly what you're called to do and doing it in Jesus' mighty name. Because today you are being good stewards over what God has given you. Let's submit today in Jesus' mighty name by yielding to the Lord and completing the assignment in which which he has given us. Thank you, Lord God, for this message. Thank you, Lord God, for bringing us together today on day 11. Hallelujah. We thank you, oh Lord God, for your blessings, your goodness, and your grace, oh Father God. Thank you for pouring down your favor on us, oh Lord God. May we be favored and highly blessed in the land, oh Lord God. May every single person we encounter see your light, oh goodness, oh Lord. Lord. Hallelujah. May they be blessed by your goodness, oh Lord. Hallelujah. We just thank you, oh Lord God, for your goodness. Hallelujah. We thank you for your presence, oh Father God. We thank you for leading us and guiding us in all of our ways, oh Lord God. We thank you for unveiling the assignment today, oh Father God. Hallelujah. As we consecrate to you, as we yield to you today, oh Holy Spirit, may we hear your words clearly. May we go in the directions of your very word, oh Lord God, because we're following you in this life, oh Lord God. Wherever you want us to plant our feet, we will plant them, oh Lord God. Wherever you want us to build, we will build, oh Lord God. Hallelujah. We will speak to your people, oh Father God. Hallelujah. Just take us where we need to go, oh Father. Hallelujah. We'll follow your trajectory. We'll follow your map, oh Lord God. Hallelujah. We'll follow that spiritual map, oh Father God, because we know that you have good plans for us in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. We thank you for the plans you have for your people, oh Lord God. Always concerned about your people, keeping them in mind and having them on your heart, oh Father God. We love you so much, oh Lord. Hallelujah. We thank you for this day, oh Lord God, may it be what you have called and designed it to be. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. You know we love Jesus. Hallelujah. Go ahead and shout out to Jesus Christ that we love him. Hallelujah. We love you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We glorify you today. You are majesty, holy, righteous. Hallelujah. You are a blessing to us. Hallelujah. We're just so grateful for you, Jesus. Thank you for leading us today in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you so much for joining me today. I pray 
that each and every one of you stand strong in the word of the Lord and yield to the Holy Spirit because we have to be good stewards. Hallelujah. If you haven't been a good steward, start today. Be a good steward with the word of the Lord and your assignment in Jesus' mighty name and be obedient, y'all. All right, y'all. Love you with the love of Christ. Praise God. And I will see you at 6 p.m. with the end of day communion. Be blessed, y'all. Bye. To get to know God, the ingredients.